Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jasmine and I'm coming at you with another tutorial video. It's for the look I have on right now. It's a um, very bright, kind of little smoky um, purple look and I really like it. I did it yesterday when I went to the um, Inglot store in San Francisco. So I decided to come back today and recreate the look for you. Um, I hope you enjoy. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Okay, so we're going to prime our eyes, and I'm using two different primers today. The first one is Max Groundwork, which is a very flush tone on me, and I'm going to apply that using my finger just underneath the brow bone. So I'm going to apply um, Painterly Paint Pot on the rest of my eyelid. Okay, so after you've applied the Painterly and the Groundwork, then I'm going to take Urban Decay's um, fishnet, which looks like this. It's a very bright purple. And I'm using Max 239 brush, which is just the shader brush. And I'm going to apply that all over my lid. And we're going to pack it on instead of a swishy motion so we can get um, less fallout. Once you have it on your lid, then I'm going to apply it up to right underneath my eyebrow and only bring it in about a quarter of the way, I want to say, less than halfway. Okay. And then I'm going to take a Sigma brush blending brush, the E25, looks like that, it's just a blending brush, and I am using a dark brown from Inglot, it's this color right here, I'll put the number below because I'm not sure the exact number right now, picking that up on my, br my brush and sweeping that into my crease. Then I'm going to take my large flush, fluff brush from Sigma, the E50, and blend it out. And now I'm taking a pencil brush. This is Max 219. And with that same brown, I'm going to go right on the outer corner and really concentrate this brown. For my highlight, I'm using Max Rice Paper, I'm sure everybody knows what that looks like, and I'm applying it with a Sonia Kashuk um, eyeshadow brush, and you don't need a lot of this stuff, please believe me, a little goes a very long way. And I'm just going to place it underneath my brow bone. And then I'm going to take that same... Um, E55, E50, I'm sorry, from Sigma, and blend that down. This is a liquid liner, um, NYC, just some random liquid liner. And for mascara, I'm using Max Zoom Lash, as well as the uh, Voluminous False Lash Full Silk which is a new mascara that I'm trying out and I'm actually really, really enjoying. Okay, for my bottom eyeliner, for my bottom eyeliner, I'm using Max Smolder on my waterline. Then I'm going to take the pencil brush I used before for the outer crease, or outer corner of my eye, and I'm gonna take some more of that dark brown and I'm going to continue this line, continue the line from here all the way underneath. Until about halfway. Then I'm going to take another pencil brush. This is a 219 SC from MAC. 
And I'm going to take Max um, Vanilla Pigment. I'm sure everybody knows what that looks like, but it's just like a white pearlescent pigment. And I'm going to put that on my inner tear duct. And that is pretty much it for the eyes. Okay, so for my face, I've already put on foundation. I use Max um, Studio Fix Fluid in NC50. And um, for powder, I use Maybelline New York's Medium Loose Powder. And for blush, I'm going to use Max Raisin Blush. It's one of my favorite blushes. Um, and apply that with a 168 SE and we're gonna put it on our jaw jawline cheekbone whatever cheekbone not jawline and up a little bit on the forehead kind of contouring with the the color and then I'm going to take makeups forever high definition blush in number 12 it's a orangey blush And you need very little of this stuff. You see, that's probably more than I need. And I'm going to take that and put that on the apples of my cheeks. And then blend that in. And then after we are finished with the cheeks, and I'm going to do my lip, I am using Max Barbecue Pencil to line my lips. For lipstick, I'm using Inglot's number... 49 it is my absolute favorite nude lip gloss. It's the only lip gloss that I've been able to find that is actually really truly nude on me. And that is the completed look. So let me go do my hair and then I'll be right back. So this is the completed look and it's a very nice purple look. You guys know purple is my favorite color so um... I really hope you enjoyed this look and I will see you guys next time. Bye!